All right, we talked about dieting earlier this hour, but adding in a detox can also help jumpstart a healthier you. And Bryce Wild is joining us this morning with more. Hi, Bryce. It's good to see you. Hey, good to see you, Shelly, as well. Yeah, happy 2021. Hopefully, this is a much better year. Oh, my and gosh. Yes. When it comes to detoxification, I mean, have you ever done a diet detox before yourself? I, you know, I feel like I have tried, but I've done it wrong. So I'm really excited to hear what you have to say. All right. Well, first of all, into 2021, it's no longer a fad. Detox is a thing you want to do every single day. And it's not for just your heart or your liver or your gut. You are made up of trillions of cells, brain cells, heart cells, gut cells, and this is at the very molecular level. We want to support two aspects of the cells, the membrane and the internal organelles. And I want everyone detoxifying every day, and here's how. It's okay. the three Fs, fat, fiber, and fasting. And when I say every day, I'll explain, so don't freak out. This is not a fad, this is an everyday thing, and you will detoxify like no other year into 2021. Okay. So let's start with fat. All right, so we gotta get the bad fats, the bad oils out of our diet. These conditioned, refined olive oils, you see there's no color to this one, and these uh, vegetable oils, canola oils, they will not only toxify your body, trans fats, margarine, that's out, they will also cause you to gain weight. So that's out, okay. but good and healthy fats will actually help you detoxify and help you lose weight. Why? It's supporting that cell membrane I just described, every cell in your body, and it's the good fats are filled with certain vitamins and minerals. So let's dive in here. You may have heard of avocado oil, maybe ghee, this is clarified butter, maybe coconut oils, but there's something that these guys don't have that other oils do, they don't have color. So I want you to now look into, this is the, uh, an amazing trend into 2021, Malaysian palm fruit oil, sustainable. You wanna look for that. You wanna make sure it's not tra it's trans fat free, non-GMO, look for these aspects on the label. So this is sustainable red Malaysian palm fruit oil. So why is it red? It's got a whack of beta carotene carotenoids that give it that color and tocotrienols, right? It's a long term, but it's so healthy for your body and helps you to detoxify free radicals. They even make supplements out of this stuff, okay? The tocotrienols found in uh, Malaysian, red Malaysian palm fruit oil. By the way, it also has a very high smoke point, which is really helpful if you're doing, you know, stir fries okay. and so forth. Mm -hmm. So that's fat, good fats. You wanna eat more of that to detoxify. Okay. Now, fiber, fiber is key. And how do we know which fiber uh, to consume more of? Well, we know mom was always right with the, uh, you know, with eat more greens. Why am I holding a deck of cards here, Shelly? Why? I stacked it. I've got the aces here. And here's what I want you to remember. Okay. Look for fruits and vegetables that contain the aces. Well, here's what I mean. It's an acronym. A, C, E, and selenium. Vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, and selenium. Okay. They are packed within all these fruits and vegetables. Citrus, of course, for the C. Peppers for the E. The, the green leafy vegetables. Now, these are also going to, again, move things, the toxins through your body. We need more fiber. We don't get enough fiber at all. So that's going in, to increase detoxification is to bind fiber in the gut and get it out of you. All right. So that's the two Fs, fat fiber, okay. fasting. I know that's scary for some folks. Uh-huh, because I'm always be. hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's what you're going to do. You're going to increase that fat and increase that fiber, the good fats, the good fiber that contain the aces. But now I want everyone to consider only eating in an eight-hour window, okay? Okay. So fasting for the rest of the day. Eating in that eight-hour window, science now shows, called intermittent fasting. You might have heard of this. Intermittent fasting actually allows for autophagy. So cells rely on dying at a certain point and excre excreting their own cellular toxins. That's what's gonna happen in the remaining hours outside of that eight hour window. So you can eat all these excellent healthy foods and some others you like, but restrict it to that eight hours. And then in the remaining time, so for example, you're gonna eat from 10 o'clock in the morning to six o'clock in the evening, nothing more. And in that sleep and rejuvenative time, in the remaining hours outside of that eight hour window, you are gonna detoxify better, Sally. I like that. Okay, I have a question about fasting. Do you have to do it every day for it to be effective or is it something that you could do five days a week and eat like a normal person the other two? <laughs> yeah, so I like, the, I like the question. I tend to follow, you know, in terms of how he's got it right, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, right? <laughs> so The Rock, he cheats, cheats. So he's got one day where he's into his tequila and his, you know, massive amounts of pancakes or whatever he loves. So yes, you have that one cheat day, go a little bonkers, maybe extend that window. But if you do this for the, the remaining six days of the week, 
you will actually not only burn more calories and you'll get these good fats to work better for you, by the way. And again, good fats, red palm for, uh, fruit oil from Malaysia, sustainable, ghee, coconut oil, for example, avocado okay. oil, and out with the vegetable oils, and you'll detoxify your body. And this has got to be every day. So, right. by the way, you know, we'll end off like this. What's the point of detox unless you retox, Shelly? So there's your one day a week. There you go. I love that. Thank you so much. It's always good to see you. Great information. I know you've got a ton more on your website, so I'll give the viewers that. If you'd like to know a little bit more about what we talked about this morning, just go to wildonhealth.com. Take a look at your screen. It's W-Y-L-D-E on health.com, and you can find Bryce on Twitter as well.